That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. And for today's Daily Dose of Stupid. Now, in this particular situation, I don't have one specific person because I think there's dumb on all sides. And I am talking about a story that a lot of people have had a lot to say about and virtually none of it productive. <laughs> By the way, I'm, in, I'm including political types on the right and the left. I, I'm not trying to... Uh, make it strictly a partisan thing, but it was a stupid moment that the stupid got contagious and, and everybody basically caught stupid around it. So uh, the story that this all originated with was the nation essentially fighting over whether or not Trump was suggesting that people inject disinfectant into themselves or not to try to combat the novel Wuhan coronavirus. Here's the thing. Yes, that clip, I'm not even going to play it because I know you've seen it a thousand times at this point. I, I get it. Go watch the clip in its entirety. Watch it in its full context. And especially watch what happened directly before that when he had the guy from his task force speaking ahead of time about the new information because that information was actually pretty good and it got quickly overshadowed by the goofy comment that the president made. So... Yes, the comment was goofy, it was clunky, it was a word salad, and it was hard to tell exactly what he was talking about. All of those things are true. What is also true is that the media and people on the left tried to make a big deal about it when it really wasn't. But at the same time, I don't think that any honest person that believes Trump has an IQ, even in the double digits, would think what he is suggesting is that somebody hook up a bleach to their IV and just, you know, strain it in there. That's not what he was talking about. Nobody that was even somewhat honest or wanted to give, uh, use even basic human logic, believed that that's what Trump was actually saying. He said something goofy and weird, and it didn't really make a lot of sense, but it wasn't that. And that's the main thing that I want to get at, is that this is a pretty good way for the Democrats to take a pot shot at Trump, but a pot shot is all it should have amounted to. There were people that were trying to use this as evidence that he is unfit for office, that he's just a moron, that he's trying to kill people. Or they're making all these cases that just make a mountain out of a molehill. Here's the best way to explain what was actually going on in that segment. The best way to understand what was actually going on there is to understand that the president's brain operates pretty much like Google Talk to Text. And by the way, I'm not making fun of the president because the guy's not a doctor, he's not a scientist, and we shouldn't expect him to be. Now, if Dr. Ben Carson were up there, said exactly the same thing, okay, I'm going to be a little harsher on him because he's a doctor. He's supposed to know this stuff. <laughs> president Trump, not so much. And so I give him a little bit of leeway in the same way that I would give similar leeway to President Cruz if he were there. Very smart man, argued in front of the Supreme Court nine times and won every single case, still not a doctor, not really his area of expertise. And so this isn't an intelligence thing, if you ask me. But the president's brain basically operates like Google Talk to Text. You say something into the phone, and it comes out, and you can kind of tell that some of the stuff that you said and some of the stuff that you put into it, that they remain there, and you can kind of tell what you were trying to say in most circumstances, but it's definitely garbled. That's how the president's brain works. It, it goes in normal, and then it comes out not really damaged, and you can kind of see where he was going with it, but it's definitely some stuff was lost in translation. And so I think that that is the most fair-minded way to observe this whole little uh, episode that happened. But the problem is anybody in front of the camera that much is going to say things that make them look goofy or unintelligent. President Obama did it. Granted, not very often. He was a very elegant speaker, usually well put together. But there were moments that President Obama was in front of a camera and, and screwed up and, and it looked like he was lost or he took in some information and didn't really quite understand it or didn't quite get it. And something similar to this happened. President Trump has been on TV and in front of a camera a exorbitant amount, even compared to the way that he normally is or any other president normally is over the past several weeks. And so if you keep anybody in front of a camera that often, 
just like any other human being, they're going to say or do something dumb or goofy. And that's what happened here. I'm not excusing it. I'm not saying that it was a good moment for President Trump. It just wasn't the earth-shattering event that the media and people on the left are trying to make it into. And this is part of the problem with Trump and his personality in general. The guy thinks out loud, always has, and it's annoying as all get out and not a good idea. But that's who President Trump is. He doesn't wait and filter things before he says them. Basically, whatever's going on in his head just comes out his mouth, which is part of the reason that he's known for saying these things that don't really make sense or that are not a fully formed thought. But President Trump, it seems like everything that's going on in his head immediately comes out of his mouth, and that's one of the reasons that he tends to find himself in these situations. The president really is his own worst enemy. But here's where I think President Trump really screwed up. Because uh, he could have just wrote it off or, or just played it off as just being, oh yeah, but that wasn't really what I was trying to say. I was looking for a different word or something like that. It's something else that would have gotten rid of the germs. That would have been the better way to handle it. There were also people that were talking about, well, he was talking about injecting UV light into the body. Uh, I, I, I don't think so. That doesn't seem to be based on the context what he was talking about. I, I think he was talking about some kind of drug or chemical agent that would basically sanitize the inside of the lungs based on what I heard. Could be wrong. But that seems to be what was going on. But President Trump did, I think, what is not the worst defense, but definitely not one of the better ones. He said that basically it was just sarcasm. Oh, you know, I was, I was being sarcastic. That's what was happening. That's what Trump does. No, I, I don't buy into the fact that that was sarcasm. It really did seem like he was trying to form a thought there live on stage and it just wasn't coming out the way that he wanted it to. That seems to be what was actually happening, especially since instead of talking directly to the camera in something that would appear to be uh, very well planned and researched, it sounded like President Trump was getting at least some of this information for the very first time, was trying to process it there live on stage, which is not a good thing to do in most circumstances. It's the reason that I prefer to have a little bit of prep ahead of time instead of just spitballing when I get in front of the camera every day. And so that's where I think President Trump made his big mistake. I think that he worded something improperly and he wasn't actually trying to be sarcastic. He just came out wrong and that was the closest defense that he could think of. Not really a smart way to handle it. However, what I do think is even more ridiculous because somehow, no matter what President Trump does, he seems to have the ability to make his opponents do something even dumber. In response to this very bad defense... CNN did a fact check, not a rebuttal, not an opinion piece, an actual fact check. You can actually see this uh, right here where CNN put <laughs> actually had a fact check on whether or not President Trump was lying or not when he said it was sarcastic. CNN, the information in that article, because I, I read it, you know, beginning to end, the information in it isn't unfair. It isn't bad. They're basically making the case that all of the circumstances surrounding it, that President Trump wasn't really being sarcastic. If you put the content of that article and just took out the stuff that's saying that this is a fact, it's actually not a bad opinion piece. And it pretty convincingly makes the case that President Trump was not being sarcastic, which is a case that I actually just laid out. But even if I agree with CNN's conclusion, and I do, which is rare for me, what they did wrong is that they added the label of a fact check. You can't do that when you're trying to be a serious journalistic organization. That's not the way this works because you can't say definitively that you know for a fact that President Trump was not thinking, oh, I'll tell a joke here. I don't think that's what's going on. It doesn't appear to me what was going on. And I think I make, out, uh, make a pretty good case for explaining why I don't think he was being sarcastic, as I just did. But I can't say definitively, because I wasn't inside Trump's head at the time when that was going on, that I know absolutely he was lying about that and it absolutely was not sarcasm. I don't think it was. But the fact that CNN tries to paint itself as this organization that always puts facts first... And then they put the moniker of a fact check on something that they have absolutely no way of knowing whether or not it is true or not. 
it just shows that they play really fast and loose with the definition of the word fact. And fact basically means anything that hurts people with whom we politically disagree. Now, to put into context, or sorry, to give some perspective maybe, on really where I, I think the stupidity of not only this whole episode with Trump and the media, but also the American people and how much we fought over this stupid thing all weekend, and somehow this became the hottest story of the weekend, which is dumb on a number of levels, the Babylon Bee did a really good job with their satire of pointing out why this is so ridiculous. So you'll, you'll see this headline that they put together. Uh, headline, Trump says to drink lots of water. Media, <laughs> media reports he told everyone to drown themselves. <laughs> so the Babylon Bee really doing the Lord's work here. This is one of the better articles that they've ever done. It's, it's not their best. It's not, it's not the top. It's not as good as uh, Elizabeth Warren coming back and reporting that she uh, did not take the land back from the pale faces to the Indian tribe after she lost the election. That was gold. Uh, but this is a really good article, so that's the headline. And it says, At the press conference last night, President Trump told everyone to stay hydrated and drink lots of water. Quote, Water's tremendous, very powerful stuff, he said. You won't believe the things that they can do with water. Water balloons, water slides, water beds. It's amazing. You can freeze it and you can make ice. I'm told great ice is great for lots of things. Ice cream, ice cubes, igloos. Anyway, drink water. Horrified journalists scrambled to warn Americans not to drown themselves in pools of bathtubs. <laughs> Trump, Trump says water is good, but this is very misleading, said Rachel Maddow. Did you know that water kills many people every year? These dangerous, unhinged remarks from the president could cause many to drown themselves. Plus, do you know what's hidden in water? Sharks. This president wants you to die from a shark attack. <laughs> Representatives from various bottled water companies quickly released a statement distancing themselves from the president's remarks and warning everybody not to submerge themselves in the ocean for several minutes at a time. <laughs> the Babylon B. Gotta love it. But I mean, that's really what this all comes down to, isn't it? The media thinks that you're an idiot, and they think that you're so stupid that you're not smart enough to understand that when the president was saying that, he wasn't saying inject Lysol directly into your bloodstream. They really think you're that dumb. The media really does assume that the average person is a moron, and that's what's really going on here. That and they want to score political points. That's really the main goal after all this. But if you want to know the real reason, and this is why you come to us for the, the real news that other people aren't going to bring you. If you want to know the real reason that President Trump may have suggested that you need to inject yourself directly with a chemical cleaning agent, well, here's your answer right here. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> do you need a better reason? That's it right there. Trump is playing 8D underwater chess with Kim Jong-un, and he's the reason. That's how you take down a terrorist without, <laughs> without firing a single shot. I really do think the dumbest part of this whole thing, though, is, is that we made such a big deal over it. Look, it was, it was a dumb moment for the president, and that's really all the attention that it deserved. For us to chuckle at it for a second and go, Fuck, that would not tur turn out exactly the way he planned it and then move on with our lives. And the fact that that overshadowed a lot of really interesting information, stuff that's really good and helps us to understand that this thing probably is going to be seasonal, and going outside is actually something that would really be beneficial for us and, and very safe for us, and we could really help, we could really start getting to the place to where we're somewhat resuming our lives because sunlight and humidity tend to kill this thing. All that got overshadowed by the fact the President Trump made a word salad and everybody was trying to interpret it. It just shows that we're wasting our time in a lot of ways. My mother always said if you can't say something nice about somebody, then you're probably talking about a leftist. Nah, I kid. But seriously, it would really help me out if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm sure my mom would appreciate it.